guys, so we got a new episode of Talk of the Town. Today we have a special guest, Nizzy. Nizzy May, how y'all doing? So, um, tell the people where you from. Um, I'm from the Bronx. I'm from the South Bronx, from a little neighborhood called um, Cortland Ave. Okay. Yeah. A little neighborhood. Ain't that weird? Like, high bridge and Yeah, it's around that area. Oh, okay, okay. So, how was it growing up in the Bronx? Um, it's, it was tough, you know, like, being exposed to a lot of different things. You got to, like, grow up fast. Okay. Do what you got to do. Okay, so how did the music, how did you get into the music? Honestly, my manager and I, we family, and he had, like, a little home set up in his spot, and I just started, like, tampering. So who was you listening to, like, growing up? Like, who were some of your influences? Um, honestly... I had like a lot of people that I that I listened to. I think I listened to a lot of Fifty growing up. A lot of um, a lot of Fifty. I want to say a lot of Biggie too. It was a little a little moment where I was listening to a lot of Big. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, so how would you say those artists like affected your sound, or do you feel like you sound like anyone? Like who do you think you often get compared to? Honest. I don't get compared to anybody, really. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be compared to anybody. So how would you describe your sound? My sound, I would yeah. describe it as myself, my, my own sound. <laughs> Honestly, I just, it's not, it's not something that I, I would want to, I don't try, when I make music, I don't try to like imitate anybody else or like. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wait, what I'm saying, like what genre would you say? Would you say hip hop, pop, rap? You're not drill, but... Not you know, drill at all. So, I mean, like... I want to say... Like, I want to say rap. Okay. Yeah. All right, that's good. I can switch it up, too. Get into some R&B and stuff like that. Okay. So, what inspired the title, Love versus the Trenches, for your upcoming project? What inspired it is that on that on that EP that's being released this month, stay tuned, mm-hmm. on that EP, we got a lot of music that's, like... It has to do with, it, some is like street related and then some it has to do with love. And it's just about a kid that's like in between both, you know? Okay. Was you talking about yourself? Yes, or myself. Okay. Like, so do you feel like it's hard to like separate or balance or? It is. It okay. definitely is. So out of the EP that's on the way, do you have like any big features on there or is um, it mostly you? It, every song, you? every song there for the most part is just myself. Okay. Okay, and what would you say is the your favorite song on the EP? My favorite song on that EP would probably be Living in the Sky. Living in the Sky? Yeah, and it's because I made that song like shortly after two of my friends, one of my friends passed away, okay. but it was like one death after the other, so it just, you know, it's, some, it's a real emotional song for me and it means a lot. Mm. Okay, so we definitely got to tune into that when that EP drops. Yeah. Okay, so your song No Time, what inspired that? Was that by like a real life situation? That's or? a real good question. And um, what inspired that song is not, it's some of what I live and mostly about what a lot of other, other people live. Okay. And it's about a, a guy, a man as you know, doing what he do out in the streets, trying to survive and stuff like that, doing things he shouldn't be doing with um, a woman at home, you know, I've seen people that just recently had a kid and then get locked up like the following week mm-hmm. or lose their life and stuff yeah. like that. So it really and so it, based on stories you've been hearing before, nothing real personal. Yes, yeah, nothing real personal, okay. but okay, that's good. Okay, so what does PTBR stand for? PTBR it stands for Prepare to Be Rich. It's a business that me and my best friend started, okay. and it's basically. It's something that we started from the ground up, you know, and it's just gonna get keep getting bigger from. Okay, okay. So now. what? What? Um. So it's a business. Yes, so you we got a members. Yeah, we got a, a members LLC, all of that stuff. Okay, that like, what does a member like have to have to join? Their um, team? like you know, we we go around recruiting talent. Really, like we have this female artist that we about to that we are in tune with right now. She's definitely next up. Okay, so what? That's what I'm saying. Like, what does a PTBR artist have to have? Um, talent. Okay, so it's just talent. <laughs> talent. As long yeah. as they're talented, they're talent. Valid. Yeah. Okay. All right. So in the studio, what's your process like? Um, 
in the studio, if you want me to be really honest, before I go in the studio, uh-huh. I get drunk. Okay. I get drunk because it helped me. I don't know. It just relaxes me. And I don't write. I don't sit down and write any of my music. Like, if I come up with a hook, I'm going to perfect the hook behind the mic. And then um, whatever comes to my head, that's what I'm, I'm just punching in. Okay. Yeah. So you freestyle up? Yeah. Pretty much. Pretty much. Okay. You just released your first visual. What What will your next single sound like? The next single, I feel like it'll... It, I don't think the single will be better than the first one, the No Time. <laughs> no Time, I really like it a lot. Okay. But I think the video for this next, the next single that is going to get released is going to be fire. Okay. So what are some of your goals? Like, what's, what's a bucket list for the music industry? Or what's something you're going to try to accomplish? Something that I, I am trying to accomplish? Yeah, music. As far as music, I want to be I want to be recognized. I feel like I'm I will be recognized. I got the talent for it, okay. and um, once I get the fan base that I want to, I'm gonna try to work with other artists. Right now, I just want to set my tone, my own tone, okay. and show people what I could do by myself before I could go ahead and work with other artists. Okay, so you know you have the EP coming out. You got another single coming. What else is next, 2021? 2021, traveling. Okay. You know, networking, meeting new people to get me to where I got to be and stuff like that. I want to, I want to, um, I just want to show people what I could do. Okay. So what's some advice you would give to an upcoming artist? Um, an advice I would give to an upcoming artist right now, trying to pick up a music career, is mm-hmm. definitely to just, like, don't let people's, um, Opinions or people's thoughts of your music or what of your lifestyle determine your next move, you know It's people that are really good out there that just let other people get in their air okay. And so they never a hundred percent um Go and attack that craft that they want, you know, okay, so make your own choices Yeah, make your own choices and just have a lot of faith, you know Okay, okay, so tell people where to find you where to find your music. Okay, so you can How follow me <laughs> I'm not a I'm not a Facebook user, but you can follow me on IG at PTBR underscore Nate, and that's Nate with an N and an eight. And um, yeah, my EP is dropping this month, so just stay tuned. Okay. Got a lot of heat there. All right.